Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall Chapters. When we left off last time, well, Crow died and that was horrible. And then, right after that, after the game devastated us, it decided to throw us back over to see what's going on with Zoe. And what's going on is... We're in kind of a terrible situation here. So, I went down this way and it didn't work out great. There is a door, like, way back here we could try with our access card. Maybe that's what I want to do. Interesting. We made it through here, no problem, in the first place. No? No backtracking, huh? Very well. Okay, well, that guy's in the way there. And there's a couple guys over there by maintenance. So we gotta go through sequencing. Bioengineering is clear. Repeat, we clear. No survivors and no prior roads. Resuming patrol to all sequencing, Central. Okay, so that means he's coming back here. <laughs> we need to stay ahead of him. But we gotta watch out for that fella. They're all... They're all... Alright, I went through there and there was a person. So let's try going this way even though we saw... Where am I? On that the there's ground? a guy over and here. What are those blue lines? Wait, wait, how did he get this door open? Is there no panel for it? Well... Shoot, what do we need to do then? That guy's gonna be coming this way. And there was some... Okay, maybe I just need to do this right? Okay, I need to get closer first off. Was I just not close enough to that other one? And maybe I could have gone through there, back to incubation? Alright. Or maybe I just need to touch it. Okay. Hold it! Shoot, this is what happened before. Oh, oh, I need to close the door real quick. That's what I need to do. Okay, got it. Ah, there. Well, that means that there's going to be a whole lot more of them. Okay, well. No thanks. Where are we even going here? Oh, jeez Louise. Um... Dad? Zoe, <gasps> He's in on it too? Stop! Don't move my sheep! We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, Target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mom. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. How's she gonna do that? Everyone, stop talking! And who's in control here? Because these guards are not answering to Helena Chang. And what's Dad doing here? Is this like a big massive betrayal by all of our characters are betrayed by their parent parent figures? Like, guys. Tana betraying Kian. Dad potentially betraying Zoe here. Is there no one you can trust? Crow, Crow is trustworthy. So then, what's Itana's position on this lady who's been age. scheming this whole time? Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We you have to know you're not. Just dictate the future of our empire. The prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. She's right. Your light is eternal, goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world and beyond. Behold, the mechanical revolution, an end to magic, the dawn of enlightenment. Witness the engine and its awesome powers. But is it is it the goddess that says that she can't have the relationship with Ramon? Because if that's according to the decrees of her religion there, then she can't possibly think that what she's doing, that the goddess is happy with what she's doing. Or maybe she thinks if she does enough work for the goddess in one area, then it will make up for 
blaspheming against the goddess in another, or perhaps that isn't, it's more of just a Zadi cultural rule and less about the scriptures of their goddess. Don't know. Keon! Keon, please respond! Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me, or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Kian, or if he's... dead, we need to get into the tower ourselves. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. Well, whatever you do is incredibly dangerous at this point, right? Stay or go, you're not safe anywhere. So the question now, Zoe, is how much of what you've experienced actually happened and how much has been some crazy, wadi dream experience? There you are. Mom? What? Where's Dad? You must have a lot of questions. Hey, why? Why am I locked up in. Oh my. What? Freaking thing. I don't understand why it does that. Let me make sure everything's working properly. Okay, let's try this again. Or just pick up where we paused. I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. Start explaining Please, and that'll help me I... relax. Is that... Dad? Dad! Oh, he is cuffed, Dad, huh? what's happening? Let me out! He can't. Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. There's so much at stake. I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Whatever she's done to me, she is my biological mother. That must mean something. I, you would like to think that, and I think the normal human thing for people that aren't like psychopaths or broken, it's true. It does mean something to be a mother. But there are some people who are, some fundamental piece of them is broken and it doesn't matter to them. There are people who are capable of just not caring or being cruel to their children. So we, we can't bank on that, Zoe. Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Yep. Pleading may be pointless, but maybe she'll respond to anger. More importantly, I don't know that she'll respond to either pleading or anger, but I think in this situation, Zoe's justified in feeling extremely angry. She's been lied to clearly a whole bunch here. I mean, well, there were lies that we learned about in the last game, and then now whatever is going on here. She's being used as a pawn for all kinds of other people's games. Yeah, anger makes sense, and... This lady's actions are not the actions of the caring mother. So yeah, clearly she doesn't have much empathy for her. She... She seems to... Uh, she just views her as an experiment, right? Like all of her half-sisters, so... Open this up right now. Let me go. Let me out or I swear I'll... Calm down. Well, what Getting upset won't help you or your father. After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done with what? The culmination of 30 years of research, my life's work. I don't care if it's your life's Rebooting work. Rebooting the world. What? What I has... will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. Has all of the world been but assimilation first, the whole time? I do need you to calm down saying? and be rational. Like literal Nothing reboot? good will come from panicking. She... What a condescending way to treat someone. I'll do my best to explain, but first you have to calm down. Like, no, start explaining, and then I'll decide if it's worth being calm for or not. Calm down. She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. All I can do is breathe. That's the more rational thing to do, but I kind of feel like at this point, like... I mean, everything's looking really, really bad for us, right? She attempted escape. There's all these guys in these crazy suits shooting people down, killing them all. Helen has got the upper hand. We're trapped in this stupid little pod. Kind of at this point, it feels a little hopeless, and it feels like, well, all you've really got is anger. 
Make it as difficult for this lady as it possibly can be. If she wants our cooperation, then she just needs to start giving us some reason to want to cooperate. We're not going to calm down just because she tells us to. Calm down. You've locked me inside a pod. If you could just calm down for a moment, I'll explain start why. Start explaining. You don't need just, me to be calm for it. Just stop fighting me. Ugh. And now we're stuck. Yeah. Whatever. She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. All it, I can do is breathe. I'm very stubborn and it bothers me to calm down. She's not giving us any she's not giving us any incentive to. She's saying that she'll explain. I don't we've got no reason to trust this lady. Why should we care about her life's work or making anything easier for her? That's better. Deep breath, so So condescending. Now listen to me. For the past year and a half you've been in a coma inside Jiva's labs in Mumbai. Really? You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. So Nella and everybody Hold else on, was I'm a dream. I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. Mm. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like entangled particles. One copy here in my lab, and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. Misdirection, to keep Wadi Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. Oh, so the goons are Wadi Corp. Okay. We needed you to return to that... that parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential. Lux, are you there? You have a unique skill. You must have realized this by now. You can reshape reality. I'm a dreamer. There have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world, but I couldn't wait around for that to happen. But so why? Your father and I made you. So what's their goal in this? What makes them... Is it that they believe their current world is so bad that it needs reshaping? Or is it that... They think they somehow they have some special vision of how things should be over and about beyond anybody else, and so they decided to make this happen. Like this is uh, their motivations are very important to me here. They were married, of course they made me. What does she mean? But not nah, well. You had an incubation pod, Zoe, and you, so did a bunch of your half sisters. So I don't think they made you the traditional way children are made. How's Gabrielle involved? What did he do? Oh, so he's... Has he been maybe really lying to her a lot this whole time? Ah, dang it, I have to take this call. Hang on. Okay. Just can't catch a break today. My goodness. Alright, so... How's Gabrielle involved? What did he do? I do want to hear exactly what his extent in all of this has been. Because previously, wasn't it that... He took her away to kind of like keep her safe from all of this nonsense, right? But now it sounds like maybe he's been complicit in something all along. My father. We were partners, and you were the first experiment, our first creation. Mm -hmm. We designed you, the first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments, half sisters, Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment after you. Oh, she was the second. You were okay. drawn to each other, and she was drawn here, to Angana, to the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler. He cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything. His life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream Okay, machine, so he wasn't a bad that guy. That's good to know. Your powers were there. Only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe. He did it because he loves and Zoe. Made a deal. She did it because Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. Yeah. We'd be partners again. And then afterwards, he could take you home. 
I'd leave you alone. Yeah, she doesn't care about the Zoe. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. She is insane, but what is this change she wants? Helena is clearly unstable. I don't know. Mostly, honestly, I think she's just something she's extremely cutthroat and she doesn't connect emotionally with people properly so she just has her own ambitions and she doesn't really care who gets hurt i mean listen the way she talks to zoe she clearly doesn't see her as a daughter at all she sees her only as an experiment um and when she's talking about like she talks about zoe's dad who was her partner that i think he probably cared about her a lot more than she cared about him right She's just, she seems very emotionally manipulative. She's willing to, okay, you can have Zoe back. Just let her do what we need to do here. And he goes along with it because she's right that otherwise Wadi Corp will try to take her. But it's like, it's a bit of a lesser of two evils kind of situation, right? Does he trust Helena or does he let Wadi take her? If you got to pick one of those two, Helena seems like maybe not as bad. Wadi probably, you know, wouldn't say do whatever we want to do with the dream powers and then you can have your daughter back so yeah I, she's a cold one isn't she did she just say what i think she said yeah she has a couple of time now so what is it she wants to change about the world and why changing what changing everything for the better define better i need you to understand this we're going to remake the world you and i how i don't have time why? to go into details but there's a place we go when we dream. Story time. Different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe. The blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field and thus the observable universe through dreams. So what we might need to do, Zoe, is go along with her just far enough to get to a point where we can change things, but we're going to have to make the call and change things in the way we want them changed and not what she wants, since it seems like we're kind of stuck for it anyway. Wattie, the dream machine, they must somehow be connected to Helena and Jeeva. Seems likely. How does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? Were they just dreams? No, because according to Helena, there was a, a version of Zoe that she projected of herself living in Propast, so all of that did happen. If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends, were they... Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast. A physical projection walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh using the power of dreams. And they never realized. And that's what Helena got so well, excited about, at yeah. at least most of them didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Things spun out of control. It's a shame he had to die. Mm. Falk Friedman saved your life. As for Reza, it's But if he's working for her, then he's not... Yeah. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press, and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. Yeah, because I trust you to fix things well. Um... Wattie, the how does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? All right, let's see that what she has to say about that and next. And Arcadia? One of many worlds spawned from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you did most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. 
you were compelled to connect with the primal force that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it, but you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but the timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. She says all this like we should be so excited about it. Oh, I've reached my potential. Wonderful. Like she's she's so clueless. She's I think she's incapable of empathy. She can't put herself in Chloe's or Chloe Zoe's position and think how she would feel if she were Zoe where she's constantly learning that all the things that she thought were real weren't necessarily real or she misunderstood them, that she's been manipulated all over the place by all these different people with their own agendas. Like this lady does not get it. She's got, she's got this weird idea that just because she's our creator, that we're going to go along with whatever she says and automatically assume that, of course, it's good. Like, no, it's not how it works, Helena. Wattie. So what's Wattie Corp's role in this? Wattie funded us, funded the development of the Dream Machine. We needed to collect and store Dream Energy. The Dream Machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. Unlike yourself. Uh -huh. She's mentioned Aingana several times now. It sounds important. And familiar. Aingana. Meet Aingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of DreamNet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana 2. She operates the version of DreamNet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality, Aingana will begin to alter our observable universe. Don't look so worried, Zoe. You won't need to do anything. She knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. And of course, you know everything Together, and your vision is flawless. A, better world. a world without sickness or death, a world without superstition, intolerance. A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. No, impossible. It's contrary to human nature. She's waiting for me to respond. I think she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything... Yes, the spite choice, that might be it. I need to stall for time. Keep her talking until I can figure out a way to open this pod. That's smarter, but... I just... I gotta needle this lady. She's so condescending. She's so condescending. I hate the way she's talking to Zoe like Zoe's a dumb child. And and not just Zoe, too. Zoe's an idiot child. Zoe's dad. Wadi Corp. All these stupid people. She's the intelligent one. She knows what's bad. Like, no. She's waiting for me to respond. Stubbornness wins. I know this is a lot to take in, and I don't expect you to understand all of it right away. Of but course. in time, you will. You're Here not you smart go. enough to get it right off, but I should have kept her talking. <gasps> yeah, talking more to her would have been the smarter choice. But I just... Ugh. She rubs me the wrong way. I had to make it harder for her. Wait, follow Crow? So then, is he here? Oh! You Crow? are here! Crow, is that you? I think so. I'm... I'm supposed to show you something. Because you want what? to, or is this part of that... Why? ...horror what that are you Helena came here? up with? And where is here? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I'm... I'm a, a bit... Uh, a bit... 
I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened, and I'm not sure I'm all here, if that makes sense. Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost said that this has been my destiny all along. I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now- We're inside the quantum weave that makes all the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? Mm. What's a blueprint? Well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. This ghost in the machine, who was it? Yes, that's important. No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here, aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it. But is the ghost... Is it Helena? Is it her Angana program? Because if that's the ghost, then I don't want to follow whatever it is. Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. Oh yeah, Brian West has here. There you go. Maybe that's it. That doesn't he? really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. We saw a scene with him in a monastery a long time ago. Oh, and here's another little thing I gotta say about Helena, right? She, the way, I, she, I don't think she really sees Zoe as a person, right? She just sees her as um, a thing that she created and thus has ownership over. Like, look at, look at Hannah. A girl that she created didn't live up to her potential, so she just gets to live life as a street child. Well, she's not powerful enough to disrupt whatever I'm doing, so she just doesn't care about her at all. It's a handwritten letter. It's a handwritten letter. All right, we want to look at the ladder. We are ready, traveler. Oh. Your journey is about to begin. Well, hang on. Let's look at the ladder before we go see what that is. Also, can we talk? We can't talk to our crow? Okay. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path, the other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. He carries a shadow inside him. But in him. truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago. When I first embarked on this journey, I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Mm -hmm. Brian Westhouse? Oh, Westhouse. The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled? I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. Okay, but also... Oh, look! And there's everybody. So, Zoe's father, Gabriel Castillo, is Zoe's estranged single father. Gabriel raised Zoe on his own, first in London, later in Casablanca, and they were close. Gabriel was always there for her, and Zoe never really missed having a mother. One year ago, Zoe learned that Gabriel had lied about the death of her mother, Helena. The fallout from this momentous lie, and from Gabrielle's involvement in the conspiracy that Zoe was embroiled in, created a rift between father and daughter that has yet to be repaired. Despite his continuing efforts at reconciliation, Zoe has neither seen nor spoken with her father since she moved to Europolis. Gabrielle is currently working on a project in Mumbai, though he still owns an apartment in Casablanca. And the villainous Helena Chang. 
Helena Chang is Zoe's biological mother. She abandoned custody to Gabrielle Castillo when Zoe was still a toddler, a fact Zoe only learned of a year ago. Before then, she'd believed what her father had told her, that her mother was long dead. Helena founded the bioengineering company Jiva, a subsidiary of Wadicorp, together with her then-husband, Gabrielle Castillo. She collaborated with Wadicorp on their Dream Machine project, but disassociated herself from the corporation when it turned out Wadi had been using the Dream Machine for nefarious purposes, although she knew all along that that's what they wanted to do. After Zoe exposed Wadicorp's plot, Helena drugged Zoe, for reasons unknown, and then she vanished. Her whereabouts were unknown. Until now. Alright, let's take a quick peek over here, although I think this is just a dead end. Yep, okay, but there were voices this way. I've seen stuff like that in films, but never in real life. This looks like a Buddhist temple. I've seen stuff like that in films, but never in real life. This looks like a Buddhist temple. Talk to me, Crow. I'm extremely happy to see you, but I'm still worried that we're going to end up ultimately losing you, because, like he said, he doesn't feel right, he feels like something happened, and he's not all there, and... The ritual is ready. Step onto the dais, traveler. Yeah, we saw this quite some time ago in the other game, this scene. And then I don't remember exactly what happened with it. I think it like blipped up to something else, so. Okay, so what just happened? Portals. They're all over the place. Let's follow him. <laughs> Through the Wait. This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time, it's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. Okay, but again, who wants you to show me? I'm very nervous about that. Oh, cannot go this way? Cannot go this way. Who all do we have over there? Oh, that's Brian Westhouse and his shadow, What right? are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. That's right. I don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I... I don't know how to go it is here what have you done what have you done well it doesn't seem like he what do you mean set out to do anything malicious what the undreaming god what is that no 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 What is that terrifying thing? That's the undreaming. I know it is. I feel it. Well, that's going to give me nightmares for a long, long time. The undreaming entered West House. It sure did. And he's carried it with him since. Was he looking for it? Is that why he came here? Or was it an accident? It seemed like an accident. I guess that's what you're supposed to figure out. Come on, we have more places to visit. Where else are we going to visit? Okay, so that's Brian Westhouse there, right? With his staff. The prophet. With the undreaming that wants to come in and destroy everything. So Helena Chang probably doesn't realize that this man carries the undreaming in him. 
maybe she does. Does she want him to undream what's already in existence and then Zoe to dream something new? Or does she want Zoe to just dream something new that changes, that overwrites what's already there and doesn't realize that he's a threat with the undreaming in him? Are we back to Saga? We must be, right? That's her picture she painted. Oh, she's much older now. Home, sweet home. But what's all the leaves about? Has it been the abandoned? The house feels strangely quiet. It, it must be, what, a year since I last visited? And who knows how long it's been for the house. Could be a day, could be decades. What Balance. about Dad, then? I need to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see. Elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. I got pretty good, to be honest, and it comes in handy. There's not that many people who can create song lines. Papa's guitar. Mine now, I guess. Well, what happened to Papa? I got pretty good, to be honest. I don't need to shape a song line today. Today, I have paths to follow. I put away most of their stuff when Papa left. What's the point in keeping things around? It's not like they're ever coming back. I'll move those out of here, someday. So when did he leave and where did he go and why? So many questions. I'm not sure what to do with the place. It's not like I can put it on the open market. Transdimensional domicile for sale, fully furnished. Beware, temporal shifts and transdimensional tears. I don't think I'm ever moving back. Tears or tears? Maybe in my twilight years? No. There are better places. Warmer places. I'm not sure what to do with the place. It's not like I can put it- I don't know if I like it. Why? Seems Where good. Where is that supposed to be again? It makes me a bit anxious to look at it. Like... Like poking a wound that hasn't quite healed. I don't know if I like it. I devoured those books when I was younger. It was all I had of the outside world. My books, and Uncle Galeth. But he was careful not to say too much. He knew I was too curious. I put away most of their stuff when Papa left. What's the point in keeping things around? It's not- I think I know most of them by heart still. I didn't have a lot of choices back then. Oh, I was a handful back then. It's a miracle Papa didn't lock me in my room. Not that it would have done much good. Paths and portals everywhere. That's what Crow said. Portals everywhere. Is she the ghost that told him to show us stuff? I miss it sometimes. But only sometimes. I barely remember her. And I barely think about her anymore. It was time to let go. I do hope that we're gonna learn what happened to her. Mama was beautiful. I guess I got my looks from Papa. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing just fine. I barely remember her. And I barely think about her anymore. It was time to let go. They were happy here. For a brief time. And then... <sighs> Attachments are risky. Especially when you live like we did. Adrift between worlds. You just have to accept the risk. So does that mean she just keeps to herself? Lonely? That's kind of sad. Mama and Papa, in better days. I still don't like to go into the downstairs. It's not anchored in the same way. There are rifts, ether vapors, not to mention, ugh, void beetles. I still don't like to go into the downstairs. All right, we'll go it's through the rest. It's not anchored in the same way. But I am very interested rifts, if we can get ether into Papa's vapors, room now. Not to mention, ugh, oh, void was... beetles. I looked a little weird for a second over here on the wall. Hmm. It's been so quiet up here since Papa left. It's been so quiet well, up here she's since not Papa go. left. Oh, oh. Go in. There's nothing I need in there. Fine. Alright, she's not going to be ready to leave yet, so 
Let's All try it. All those years wanting to walk out that door, pass through the turnstiles, and never come back. Papa tried all the wards he could think of, but it made no difference. I was too strong-headed. Much as I want to, I can't just wander down random paths today. I have prophecies to fulfill. Do you now? Alright, let's go. Oh. I thought Papa got rid of Hugsy. Did he find his way back? It wouldn't surprise me. Both creepy and comforting. Comfeepy. Crumforting. <laughs> That's Hugsy for you. Oh, there's a rocket ship. Too many memories. Was I happy here? I think she was sometimes. I was basically a prisoner. But I guess I didn't know any better. She was... She was imprisoned, but it was... Uh, the motivation... Uh, like, her papa's motivations weren't terrible. She's his daughter and she he loves her and he wanted to keep her safe, right? She's his daughter. That came out weird. Okay. Anyhow. Um, so I think his motivations were good. He just... It's a sad childhood, right? All of her happy memories are, are shadowed with sorrow because it was a prison. He held too tightly. He didn't try to... He didn't allow her any freedom. Just stuff. None of this means anything. We're not defined by things. That doesn't mean that those things don't hold meaning. They can still have significance to you. Memory. Oh, that Spatula? is something we needed. Check. It's kind of a strange spatula. This one's just for scraping. You couldn't really, like, flip an egg or something with this. The humble spatula. Queen of kitchen utensils. I think wooden spoon is more valuable myself. I'll move those out of here. Someday. Oh, the radio's not here anymore, though. Oh, it is. It's just moved. When was the last time I listened to that? I must have been, what, 16 or 17? I was able to tune into the weirdest stuff from all over the multiverse. The radio of all channels, currently out of commission. I'm out of the elixir. Elixir? Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga, this is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? Well... All right, what does the compendium say? The elixir of delayed onset of death. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, goals we want it to look at. So we need rope and this elixir. Should we find the rope first and do the elixir? Ready elixir for elixir making. Last. It's interesting. I've never heard it elixir. I've always heard elixir, but I could be wrong. Mama was beautiful. I guess I got my looks from Papa. I really wanted to say something about this door. Can we do anything with this now? Yeah, open it up. Still just the wall. Papa was so worried about the cracks reopening, he checked the wall every day for decades. My destiny begins right here. Well, behind that brick wall. Is this where we're going to exit? The song lines are not yet aligned. It is. And I need to get everything together before then. Okay, fabulous. I am glad to finally be doing something with that door. I'm not sure I like that reminder. She haunted us for so long, and her ghost took Papa away from me. It was Mama's, but there's nothing of her left here now, just things. I devoured those books when I was younger. It was all I had of the outside world. My Before Papa left, I don't think the fire ever went out. He wouldn't let it. He said it was the beating heart of the house. Hmm. Does that mean the house is dead or just dormant? I can sense it still, beneath the boards and behind the walls. It's hibernating. They were happy here. For a brief time. 
And then... <sighs> Attachments are risky. Especially when you live like we did, adrift between worlds. You just have to accept the risk. So... I did not find a rope. What area have I missed? I mean, unless I have to do the elixir before I can get there. No, it's right there. Well, there we go. Check. Excellent. This should be long enough and strong enough to get me where I need to go. Where do you need to go? We'll see, I suppose. Okay. Time to make some potion. What does the Ready for Something weird happened with the sound. It's been doing this to me lately. So, I am ending this here while I can investigate and make sure it goes properly. Next time, we'll make our elixir.